On November 15th, 2012, I'm hosting a crochet along for these little mitts. They're very cute. They make a very quick project for uh, gift giving, for the gift giving season. It's a six stitch left leaning cable. If you are left handed, your cable is going to lean right when you do the pattern, but that's not anything to worry about. It's just one little cable here on top. And this, in order to participate in the crochet along, you'll need this book, The Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Tunisian Crochet from Leisure Arts. And the mitts are in this book here. Okay. The cable in this book is a very plain cable. It is not the same cabling that I did in Tunisian Cables to Crochet, so I just don't want anybody to be confused. These cables were much more intricate and required special stitches in order to make the cables show better. So the cabling, the cabling is, is slightly different. So I don't want you to be confused if you believe that this cable is the same when it's not and I, I don't want anybody to think that I'm misleading them. This is just a plain cable and we're going to do these mitts for the crochet along. Okay, here I have 10 stitches. Of course the pattern for the little mitts it is longer than these 10 stitches. But this is just to show you the cable. That's that's all. We're just doing the cable here. And I've got 10 stitches. The cable is on 6 stitches. So I'm going to have 2 stitches on either side. And I've already done the foundation row and 2 rows of Tunisian knit stitch. If you need help with those stitches, I do have other videos to show how to do that. And I'm just going to pick up my loops. That's one for the cable, two, three, four, five, six. That's where the cable is going to be. Now, again, this is a different cabling technique that I have done in the Tunisian Cables book. This is just the plain everyday cable and I'm going to remove six stitches from my hook very carefully. Just that's three and now these. Now we're going to pick up a crochet hook at this point. You can use anything you like, anything that you have handy. A crochet hook, a stitch holder, there are cables, specially made cable stitch holders. You can even use a paper clip. These are just three stitches that you're going to hold on there. So it doesn't matter, just so long as you're not letting them disappear. I'm going to get that last stitch. And the first cable is fiddly until you've got your your work. Right now you see how this is just bunching up and it is fiddly and all you're doing is just changing the order of the stitches that's it nothing to it it's not a big mystery it's not scientific you're just changing the order see they're out of order right now this was the last three here and this was the first three so that's all we're doing we're just changing them it doesn't matter if you take the loops off your hook and you have three hands and you're able to do that without the holder. It doesn't matter because all you're doing is just flipping them around. That's it. So we're going to pick up the last two. See the two on the outside there? That makes a cleaner edge for you. So try to get those two. Alright, now chain one like we do normally, which is the yarn over and pull through one. But now we're going to go through two all the way across. Just make sure that those stitches don't bounce back where they're not supposed to be. Make sure that you get them in the correct order. 
because sometimes they like to stray. Here's one. These are the back ones. Three. Oh, that was two. That's three. And the last two. All right, now see the first row? Wow, what a mess. Doesn't that look crazy? So what you're going to want to do, since you're new to the cabling, is check out where those stitches are. Now see, those are the three in the back. Right there. See those three? And then here's the three in the front. Just see where they are. Really, really look and see where they are so that you know exactly where to insert your hook because this row is kind of crazy. It always is. There's one. And two. And see the last little guy right there. And now we're going to pick up the stitches over here. These are easier because they're the ones in the front. Two. Three. All right, now the last two. One. Two. Now just like before, just a typical closing. Chain one, yarn over, pull through two, all the way across until you end with one loop on your hook. Okay, all the way. Three more to close. One, two, three. All right, now you see it's starting to form now. And I'm going to do one more row for you. Now if you'll notice, the cable looks a little flat. That's nothing to be concerned about. That is the nature of Tunisian crochet. It's still going to look exactly like the mitts look in the book. And it's just... The it's just that the cable kind of disappears in Tunisian crochet work, which is why for the extensive cables that I did, I had to do something different. So that's just another warning to let you know that this is not exactly the same as I did for the other book. All right, so we're just going to pull through two to close them. You see how easy that is. And then you'll follow the pattern and do the cable crossing as indicated. Now see, that's the way it's supposed to look. A lot of people will stop after that first crossing and think that they've done something incorrectly. It's just that it's not showing yet. So pull up on your stitches and make sure you get them in the correct spot and you can see them. And then once you finish up here, then you will start seeing the cable. So don't worry, all you're doing is getting them out of order. It's, it's really not hard at all. Okay? You can do it.